Unknown persons have attacked an orphanage in Mina, the Niger state capital. The head of the orphanage, Pastor Isaac Ugu, told Channels Television that a yet-to-be-identified group of persons invaded the orphanage and set the building on fire. Though no life was lost in the inferno, property worth millions of naira was lost. This is what is left of Bethany Home, a missionary orphanage in Tunga area in Mina, the Niger state's capital. This is not the first time that the home will be witnessing attacks of this nature. The, the first one is that the motorcycle was kept somewhere. The motorcycle was brought under the roof and set on fire. The tank was moved. Even the people came with knives. The knives were, the police saw the knives, they were took and came. The second time they came, they, they put on the distance. Even yesterday, this phone, this we are looking at, the phone that were here was set on fire. So there was five times that they came since yesterday. This is the fifth time. The, the children have not really returned. They are on break. And so the few of us work at the staff, including myself, we are in here. Before we noticed some, we noticed some people came in and said the house are blessed. The state government has vowed to assist the security agencies in their investigation, which is still ongoing. However, the police in the state have insisted that there is no religious angle to the attack. Police are not spirits. Therefore, it is only when people report the situation to them that they know. Therefore, I crave the indulgence of Nigelites to report any suspicious movement, any act that is likely to cause the breakdown of law and order in the state. And I want to assure them, government of Niger State is very serious about it, is very proactive about it, and cannot allow anything to break down the law and order of our state. There, there is an uncompleted building behind, directly behind the, the, the missionary complex. And uh, the fence at that point is very, very low. So it is suspected that the person who does this act came in through that completed building. And the DPO in charge of the area has once arrested the two security guards who were in charge of that completed building for once. And the, owner, the, the, the pastor in charge of that missionary center went to the police station to plead on behalf of those guards that is not suspecting them and he don't want the police to do anything to those people whereby sec thereby securing the release of those those uh, security guards uh, apart from the two security guards in the uncompleted building where we are suspecting that is the area these people use in entry into that compound no other arrests have been made in the meantime security has been beefed up across the state to forestall any crisis